Full disclosure before we start, the iRig stream in my possession was something that IK Multimedia sent to me by request. So I didn't pay anything for this. Basically, they just sent it over so I could review it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and I'm going to show you a very, very simple live streaming setup done with uh, the iRig stream here. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to live stream on YouTube using the YouTube app, but you can, of course, do this on other platforms. All you need to know is that when it comes to the actual hardware setup you need to do, then no matter what platform you're streaming on, the hardware setup you need to do before you even get to the stream streaming thing, well, it is the same. I'll also add that normally I would warn people away from my videos if they're looking for videos where I'm using iDevices with a USB-C port because my iDevices all have lightning ports. However, in this case, I can say that it doesn't really matter uh, which kind of iDevice you're using because the iRig stream from IK Multimedia is shipped with both types of cables. So you have the DIN to lightning connector and you also have the DIN to USB-C connector. Right, so let me just introduce the other things here. So this is an iPhone 6 with a lightning port and this is a power bank, a USB power bank. And here we have the Unisynth from IK Multimedia. Now, the reason to why I've chosen to add the Unisynth and the USB battery pack is because the setup I'm showing you here is completely fully portable. This thing is battery driven. We have a USB power bank here that can be connected via a special cable that I'm gonna be using into the iRig stream. And it's gonna allow us to charge the phone while we're streaming. Pretty awesome. We begin by connecting the Unosynth to the iRig stream. So to connect the Unosynth, we need a cable like this. So it has RCA connectors at one end that goes into the iRig stream like this, white to black or white to white, red to red. And then this one goes right into the output of the Unosynth. And now that is connected. Next, we're gonna need some way of actually talking to our audience, so we need a microphone, and we also need a way of hearing exactly what we're doing here in our session. And so with the iRig stream, it has one input port here that takes headsets, regular headsets, regular headphones, you know, the ones uh, that you use with your iDevices, your mobile phones, uh, with an integrated microphone and, and phones on there. So you can just connect that here and use it. In my case, I chose something a little bit different. You see, I have this PC headset at home. And why do I say PC headset? Well, it's got two connectors, right? So there's one for microphone, one for head, uh, headphones. And uh, since this thing only has one input, how do you do it? You can only connect one at a time. Well, there are splitters like this that will allow you to connect both of these into the same port. And all you need to do is just follow the colors like this. And then you put this one in here. Now, what's so good about having an uh, adapter like this, a splitter, is that you can actually connect other headsets to this or headphones. So if you've got another type of microphone you wanna use that has this connection, you can just unplug this and put that in there instead. And you can also use other headphones. Well, in my case, for instance, I have these Shure, uh, what, what they're called, SC215 or something. They're great, they're really great. Closes out all the sound. I don't use this when I'm moving around in traffic because I really can't hear anything, but these sound really, really good. And you can use this with a splitter like that. And that's why I like doing it like this, but we're not gonna do that now. I just wanted to show you that that is a possibility. So now that we have our headset connected for our microphone and our monitoring, we are now ready to connect the iRig stream to the iPhone. And since I'm using an iPhone with a lightning port, I need to choose that cable. So it, it's a DIN cable, uh, one of those IK Multimedia cables at one end. It goes in here, so I'll just put it in there. I'm gonna grab my phone here because we're gonna connect this to the bottom there and it should turn on and it is on. However, it's not really on, on. What does that mean, do you ask? Well, you see, this thing won't really initialize and really work until you open an app that handles audio. And so any audio handling app you have, it could be anything like AudioShare, it can even be the internal camera app. 
I just want to show you this. So when you go to the video mode, then it will initialize the iRig stream and it will actually record video and uh, audio at the same time. All right, so when we've reached this stage, we're actually ready to stream using uh, YouTube or whatever other app we want to use for streaming. But there is one more thing I want to show you. You see, I still have this USB power bank here. And if we look at the iRig stream, we can see that we have a DC input here on the side. And if we look at uh, IK Multimedia's website, we can see that they actually do sell a special adapter that you can use uh, for powering your sessions. And the power will go through the iRig and into the iPhone or iPad and actually power it. Now, in my case, I don't have that IK Multimedia adapter yet. They told me they were gonna send one to me, uh, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be waiting for that. So I found a little way of hacking this session for what I wanna do. And so right here, I have something called uh, Ripcord. And this is actually a Kickstarter backed project. And um, I was one of the backers and I was sent this uh, some time ago. I, I ordered quite a few cables and adapters and stuff. And it's a pretty cool product because what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to connect this thing to any USB power output uh, source. So a USB adapter, uh, like, uh, like one of those Apple adapters you're using to um, charge your iPhones or iPads. And then it will give you like one of these DC outputs. Now I needed a small adapter for mine. And so I've just put it on here. Let me just do it like this. I don't know, can we see that on the camera? Right, we need to see this corner here because as soon as I put this in, this thing should be charging. And there, it goes green. Can you see that? It's actually charging. Meaning we now have a fully portable uh, live streaming setup and we can charge our phone at the same time with this USB battery. You don't have to use a USB battery. You could just stream on whatever power you have left in your phone, but I find it really nice to be able to do this. Okay, so we're not gonna jump into YouTube just yet and start streaming because there's one more thing we need to check before we do that, and that is our input levels. So whatever you've got connected to the iRig stream, make sure that the volume output is turned up and check the volume here. So it's got a three LED system where it basically tells you in a blue LED if it's too low, green LED if it's okay, and when it goes into the red, well, basically you're clipping and you don't want that. So pull down on the volume uh, like this until it goes into the green. So there is one more thing and that is the microphone. Um, and I usually check that once I've started the stream, I'll pull it up to a six or something with the type of mic I'm using, but it's gonna be different depending on what mic you're using. So check this and check it with your viewers, you know, ask them, is my mic level okay? And if they're like, what? Maybe you should just raise it. So that's our streaming setup. Next, we just need a uh, streaming platform. And in our case, it's gonna be YouTube. Right, so here we have a zoomed in view. And as you can see, I like watching uh, Well In Play Rust. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press here, the camera icon, go to live stream. And soon you will be seeing me as soon as I remove this one. So this is basically YouTube asking your permission uh, to show your location. I don't like stuff like that, so I'm just gonna remove that. So here we are, and I'm gonna have to flip, and you'll be able to see me over there. Now I'm gonna flip the uh, camera around, come on, like that. And what we need to do now is to give this a title, and I'm gonna call this, hey, like, no, no, I can't even spell that, right? Hey. Now, normally you'd keep this um, in public, like you, you want the live stream to go out publicly. I don't want to do that right now because I'm recording a tutorial. So I'm just gonna set this to unlisted. But in your case, if you wanna stream live, make sure it's in, in public mode. I'm gonna press next and it's gonna count down because the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make a thumbnail basically. So a shot of your session and that's it. And all I have to do now is to go live as soon as this is blue and it's blue now. So now I'm gonna move around here because I'm standing behind the camera. And I'm gonna press go live. So go live and there we are. I should be hearing myself, but I'm not hearing myself. 
Now, I've been sitting here for a little while not getting this to work because I couldn't hear myself, but then I realized that I'm an idiot because if you look at this, I, I disconnected these and then when I reconnected them, I reconnected them in the wrong order because I'm an idiot. So if you got something like this, remember to check your input and outputs. Right, so let me take the stream from YouTube and pop it into this video. And you can still hear me while I'm doing this. And whenever you're done with your stream, just press the X up here and stop. There we go. And as you can see, it now starts loading uh, the video and, and processing it. As soon as that's done, it's going to be available for the public unless you put it into unlisted mode. Right, so that's the iRig stream. It's so simple to set up and stream with and combine with all your other stuff. It's very, very lightweight. It's uh, tiny and fits into your pocket together with whatever small amount of cables you, you need. It's got the loop pack mode so you can hear what's going on in the app coming back, you know, through the USB cable into this. And it doesn't have many features, but it's definitely the kind of features you want to have access to when you're doing something like this. And yeah, so it's been great. Now I've been using Direct Stream to stream on my second channel, uh, Jakob Hack Live. And I've basically been using a setup where I've got this connected to my girlfriend's MacBook and I've been using a web camera. I've been streaming like that without a problem. The only thing I didn't like is the microphone on this headset. So I'm gonna get another headset Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful in any way, then why not hit that like, uh, subscribe to this channel um, and uh, drop a comment down below. If you want to support me in any financial way, you've got these links uh, here on the side. You can find my music over here. And as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go, oh. and as usual, and as... now as usual, I wish, As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.